Now that your regular Kijiji account is set up, we can get started learning how to post ads. Click Post Ad to get started. Let's select a title. To start, be sure to follow our title selection lesson and consult our words that sell to see if we can incorporate any of them. We're going to pretend to be selling a phone today. I think we can use these words from the list. Sale, now, fast, and authentic. Authentic brand phone for sale now, must sell fast, is a pretty good title. Make sure to capitalize what you want to emphasize. In our case, the brand and the urgency must sell, but don't overdo it. Now we're going to select the category. Buy now, vehicles, pets, and community follow a similar layout. In our example case, the most relevant would be buy and sell, followed by phones, followed by cell phones. However, as you can see, there are some other categories that may also be relevant, including phones other and electronics. You may wish to explore creating multiple ads across more than one category to increase the traffic to your product or service. This can massively increase your profitability if done correctly, as some categories receive lots of traffic but less listing competition. This is mentioned in one of our Kijiji Ad Pro Tips. Now we're ready to put in some ad content. Fill out all the related detail fields like offering or I want to find. In this case, we are selling, so you would select offering. Fulfillment and payment options. The brand. And if you are the owner or a business. For the description, use the formula we outlined in our description selection lesson. To summarize, remember to put 1. A short sentence grabbing their attention with your value proposition using words that sell. Genuine brand phone for sale now must sell fast. 2. A brief summary of your offer. Black brand phone for sale with 32 gigabyte storage in unopened box for X dollars. 3. A call to action to text, call, email, or visit you. To buy, send us a direct message or visit us. 4. Additional details further down if they desire further reading. Details about the offer. 32 gigabyte, black color, 6 inch screen, charger, processor speed, etc. Make sure to do this with proper formatting, including using bullet points if applicable to keep it well organized. Selecting appropriate tags is important. These are potential keywords someone may be searching for on Kijiji that will be associated with your listing, so make sure they are relevant to your product and something you feel would be highly searched for. In our example, we are going to put phone. An alternative word to describe the product, cell phone. The model, we call it version X. The brand, we call it X brand. And the size, 32 gigabytes. Time for media. Be sure to watch our thumbnail selection lesson and implement what you learn. The thumbnail is the most important part of your ad. It's the first thing people see while scrolling through Kijiji. So as our lesson suggests, we're going to pick a unique image that stands out. We're also going to outline it in a bright color and incorporate a couple words that sell in big letters to really pop. Let's take the image of our phone and put a bright border around it. Secondly, we're also going to put a couple words that sell, including sale and now. 
Thirdly, as per one of our Kijiji Ad Pro tips, we're going to incorporate our website and company logo, just in case there are people scrolling who don't click the ad so that we can gain brand recognition. Take a look at these three image renditions. Which one stands out the most in your opinion? The gray phone with no text, the colorful phone, or our colorful image complete with attention grabbing text and an outline. Most people would agree it's the one we made our modifications to stand out. If you're scrolling quickly through the site, our image is going to be much more likely to grab your attention and get you to click. Make sure the image is set to be your thumbnail. It will say main and also make sure it's square in dimension before you upload. After, we can include some additional images for further viewing by the user if they're interested. Perhaps an image or flyer detailing your brand or further details about the product or service. Next selections include adding your location, which we recommend, as well as website URL. A website URL can cost money, but we strongly recommend it. It's also required if you're going to include your website URL in your description or thumbnail image. Time to decide which price to put. If you're simply looking to drive traffic, select please contact. Otherwise, to be straight to the point, put in an amount. Make sure your contact information is correct with phone number and email contact. Now it's time to make some selections of the additional paid options Kijiji has available. You can select Top Ad. Top ads duplicate your listing and put you in a prime selling position at the top of your category. Highlight your ad, which places your ad against a blue background within the search results so it stands out from the crowd giving you up to two times more views and responses than regular ads. Urgent ad flags your ad with a bright red banner making it quick and easy for buyers to find it. Homepage gallery posts a second copy of your ad on the Kijiji homepage along with a copy in the regular listings within its category. The cost for these options varies depending on the popularity of the regions you're selling in. We have found all the options to be extremely helpful in increasing ad exposure. However, in my opinion and experience, the most profitable relative to cost have been the top ad and highlighting features. Once you've finished with your selections and all the fields have been filled out, you can preview your ad first or hit post your ad to go live with the ad. That's it. You can monitor your ads by going to the My Ads section. You can monitor the number of views, replies, and what page the ad is on. As a verification, once you've finished, we do recommend checking the category you posted the ad in after a few minutes to make sure it's there.